let's solve for x given that 8 to the x plus 8 to the x plus 8 to the x is equal to 80. When I add 8 to the x plus 8 to the x plus 8 to the x, I get 3 of 8 to the x. This is equal to 80. Now we divide both sides by 3. So I'll divide the left by 3. I'll divide the right by 3. So this 3 can cancel out this 3, leaving behind 8 to the x to be equal to 80 over 3. Now 8 can be written as 2 to the 3, and it is raised to the x, so I'm going to be raising this to the x. This is equal to 80 over 3. Now from indices, this power and this power can multiply, so that we have 2, which is the base. 3 times x is 3x. And this is equal to 80 all over 3. Now, since the base on the left-hand side is 2, we take the log base 2 of both sides. So I'll take the log of 2 to the 3x. Remember, the log base 2. This is equal to, we do the same thing to the right. We have the log of 80 over 3 base 2. Now, our next step will be for us to apply the property of logarithm to the left-hand side and to the right-hand side. Now, to the left-hand side, you see that the number is carrying a power. So, we apply the power law of logarithm here. That says, for example, when I have the log of m raised to power p, this can be written as the power, which is p, times log m. Now, what about what we have here? When I have an expression like this, whereby we have a log and the numbers are dividing, which is m divided by n, this can be written as the log of the numerator m minus the log of the denominator n. So let's apply this to what we have here. So the left-hand side can be written as 3x log 2 base 2. This is equal to, now the right hand side can be written as log 80 base 2 minus log 3 base 2. That is it. Now we can apply the law of logarithm here. The law of logarithm that says when I have a log of a number, let's say b, which is the same as the base b, this is equal to 1. That means log 2 base 2 is 1 times 3x is 3x and this is equal to log 80 base 2 minus log 3 base 2. Now our next step will be for us to break down 80. 80 is pretty much a large number so how do we break it down? We do like this. So we have 80, 2 can divide. So 80 divided by 2 is 40, 40 divided by 2 is 20, 20 divided by 2 is 10, 10 divided by 2 is 5, and then 5 divided by 5 is 1. So I have 2. How many do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4. So 2 to the 4 times 5. So 2 to the 4 times 5 gives 80. So that means this expression cannot be written as we have 3x on the left to be equal to we now write this as log 80 can now be 2 to the 4 times 5. And this is having a log two, base 2 minus log 3 base 2. Now we have an interesting logarithm here where we have multiplication. There's a property of logarithm that says when I have the log of m times n, this can be written as the log of m plus the log of n. So that means this expression can be written like this. So we have 3x to be equal to, now this in this form becomes log 2 to the 4 base 2. Remember, we're working with base 2 plus log 5 base 2. That is it. And now we have minus 
log 3, base 2. Now, you remember the power law of logarithm? We apply it here. So we have 3x to be equal to the power, which is 4, times log 2, base 2, plus this is log 5, base 2, minus log 3, base 2. Now, you still remember the number and the base equal? This becomes 1. So 1 times 4 is 4. So we have 3x to be equal to 4 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 3 base 2. And since we're looking for x, all we have to do is to divide through by 3. So we have this divided by 3. We have this divided by 3. We have this divided by 3. We have this as well divided by 3. Now, 3 can cancel out 3, leaving x to be equal to 4 over 3 plus. Now, there is an invisible 1 here, so this becomes 1 over 3. So, let's write that. 1 over 3 log 5 base 2 and then minus. The same thing here. There is an invisible 1 here. So, we have 1 over 3 log 3 base 2. And this is the value or final answer for x. Now, let's prove if this is correct. Now, let's check. We have the value of x, which, which we've already solved for here. Now, notice that the left-hand side, we have similar terms, which is a to the x. So, I'm just going to pick one. And later, add the value or the answer into three places to see if we get 80. Now, I'll take one. 8 to the x. Now, this is equal to 8 to the x. We substitute the value of x, which is 4 over 3, plus 1 over 3, log 5, base 2, minus, okay, 1 over 3, log 3, base 2. So, this is the value of x. Now, we simplify further by applying the property of indices that says when I have a to the m, plus n, this is the same as a to the m times a to the n. But when we have negative, for example, when I have a to the m minus n, this is equal to a to the m all over a to the n. That means addition is associated with multiplication, while subtraction is associated with division. So let's apply this knowledge here. So this becomes 8 to the 4 over 3 times 8 to the 1 over 3 log 5 base 2. Now look at negative here. So that is associated with division. So we write 8 to the 1 over 3 log 3 base 2. Now simplify further. You notice that 8 is same as 2 to the 3, and this is raised to the 4 over 3, times the same way, 2 to the 3, and this is raised to the 1 over 3, log 5, base 2, all over the denominator, 2 to the 3, and this is raised to the 1 over 3, log 3, base 2. Now watch, from indices, multiplication, of powers we have this three cancel out this three so we have two to the four so this is two to the four times we have this three cancel out this three so we have two to the log five base two all over now the denominator we have this three cancel out this three so we have two to the log three base two well, there is a property of logarithm that says that if this base and this base are the same, that means we take the 5, which is the number here. So, this becomes 2 to the 4, that is 16, times, now, the base and this base here are the same, we take the 5, all over. The same thing here, the base and this base here are the same, so we take the 3. Now, this becomes 16 times 5 is 80 all over 3. 
So we have one of them here. One of them, just one. So let's add the result because their results are going to be the same. So let's add it into three places. So we have 80 over 3 plus 80 over 3 plus 80 over 3. This is actually 80 plus 80 plus 80 since the denominators are the same. So they have common denominator. So 80 plus 80 plus 80 is 240. And 240 divided by 3 is 80. So we've got the left hand side to be equal to the right hand side. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. Like I always say, until next time, take care.